Hello! Today in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to organize your desktop icons in Ubuntu 20.04. Plus, I'll show you some techniques on aligning certain files and names. Let's jump in. So with the new edition of Ubuntu, they've changed the desktop icons. Although it works fine, there's actually two things that that doesn't really make a grade. Although you can add folders, you can't really add uh, a file, an empty file, and you can't really organize the desktop icons. There's no more, there's not an organize button um, when you right click. So you basically have to just dr drag the files along the desktop to make a look, uh, to get a certain look which is not something I actually want. So the only alternative to this is installing Nemo. Um, but um, we actually have to do some things before we actually install the application. So the first thing that we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna basically disable the GNOME desktop plugin. Cause um, how this is actually working is that it's not actually using Nautilus's implementation of the desktop icons. It's, it's using some sort of uh, Gnome Shell plugin. So we're gonna basically disable it and then we're gonna uninstall it. So uh, this basically uh, sets it to false so that it doesn't work anymore. So just open up the terminal, paste it in. And that should disable it. Next, we're going to uninstall the the Shell plugin. So um, the package name is called Gnome Sh Shell Extension Desktop Icons. So just do sudo apt. Remove GNOME shell extension desktop icons. So basically, when you re log in, when you log back in, uh, you should basically have like an empty, uh, an empty desktop. And then afterwards, we're going to install Nemo and Decomp Editor. Uh, and I'll explain what this will. will, will what, what this will do for Nemo. All right, so it's basically set up, but um, we actually, uh, in, in order for it to work, uh, we actually t have to type in Nemo desktop in the terminal, but there's actually something more convenient. Um, we can actually make it startup automatically. So to do that, uh, you're just gonna open up uh, an application called startup applications. And you basically just want to manually add it. Um, just just name it uh, whatever you like, and then the command has to be Nemo Desktop. So um, make sure you add the hyphen right here, and then you just press OK, and you just uh, just close it up, and then you're just basically gonna, gonna um, uh, you're, you're gonna log out and log in again, and once you log back in, it's now using Nemo as as the desktop um, icon, desktop icon manager, and although it it looks the same, you can actually see that there's no more square outline around the file, and that when you right click, you can actually do much more. You can you can create a new de document, um, the folder I guess it was still there, and actually you can customize, and you can actually change how long this is, so you can make it just longer or or wider. And if you if you did something wrong, you can just always click on reset grid spacing, and you can actually change the, uh, the direction of it, how it's going. I usually just like vertical, and you can actually sort it differently. So this is actually very convenient for me. And it, let's say, just say you create a new document, uh, just name it. Uh, it actually sorts by itself, so you don't have to actually like figure out um, where it's going to be placed. It'll just automatically just place it somewhere. At the pro at the pro at the appropriate spot, and one final tip. Um, uh, let's say that uh, if it does work, um, and you see these fonts, um, the default font is something called like Noto Sans, and it actually, a uh, person looks kind of ugly when they look at the file. So if you actually want to change the 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 font size and the font family of the of the icons, um, we're gonna be using D uh Decomp Editor. So. You're just basically gonna open it up and just say I'll be careful and then just uh you, you'll be greeted in this uh this is like the name the the main uh 
directory you'll be you'll be starting in. So, and to change the font, you have to actually go inside the Nemo um, Nemo config settings. So, you go to org Nemo um, desktop, and then you look you just uh, look for the setting called font, and uh, just make sure you put in your custom font value. Uh, make sure you, this is disabled, and uh, you don't have to worry about like put uh, putting in like some sort of string. Um, you can actually just add spaces. So if I put in Ubuntu bold, yeah, you know, click apply. As you can see, it changes. So it's italicized, italic, and it it changes and it changes it instantly. So it's it's a really cool cool feature. And that's about it. So th thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can uh, do the migration success successfully now. And yeah, th thank you. Um, please subscribe and uh, like this video if you like this video. And yeah, uh, thanks. I'll talk to you soon.